tonight's special guests, Stephen Escobar and Jason Stewart. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. All right. It's been a crazy week. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you're here. This is going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. Oh, man. Uh, well, we got to have a good time here because COVID is blocking us from having fun anywhere else. It's crazy. It's insane. I was at a, uh, I was at uh, Maxie's uh, Bar and Grill the other night, and uh, they had to close a tent, and the guy who's playing the guitar, he's like, yeah, I got to stop my set now because COVID apparently starts at 10 p.m. He's like, "Yeah, the ball drops and all that." Say, it's, I, I got that's Frankie. If you're watching, uh, we'll probably have him on the show at some point. Man, I'll tell you, it's crazy. I don't know. I don't even know what to do anymore. I, I, I there's nothing to do. What are you supposed to do? Just watch Netflix the whole time? I mean, I, I, I at this point, I swear to God, I would I'd be ready to make out with any girl. Any girl, as long as she was wearing a mask. We, I'd make out with masks on, right? Anyway, uh, <laughs> we were supposed to show a mask there, but that, that was my fault because I jumped. There we go. Not her. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I'm not making it. No, wait. Let's go back here. <laughs> okay. this is. Let's, let's talk about this. The masks that people are wearing now are insane. And I think some people are just doing it to make fun of the whole thing, which is stupid. But let's see what let's see some of these masks that people are wearing. Okay, this is incredible. The okay, the the one in the the one in the middle is insane. That's is that a Coke bottle with two small bottles with cocaine in them? I think that's what it is. The guy on the left, he just put aluminum foil and an ashtray, and the guy on the right, it looks like he just took a kid's party hat and put it on his face. It's. It, Oh, this is great. How does she even breathe? Isn't that stuff supposed to block? That stuff's supposed to block any leakage. How is she supposed to breathe? It's impossible. Tampons up the nose and that's disgusting, especially if it's Kevin's shoe. That, look at that. This guy, another guy with wings. Oh, it's a man too. What's he doing? As long, I guess as long as it, it's clean, it's not, it's fresh and new. It's got that nice vinegary smell. Okay. Is that it? We got, is that it? Is that all? Oh, the, yeah. The, the lettuce. I mean, really, seriously. That's, in, that's insane. That's like a superhero, lettuce woman or something. I'm telling you, though, I, dating is impossible. How do you date? How do you date now? We got to, we got to do, you know, what we got to do for one of my next shows. We've got to actually do uh, my, my actual video dates. I think that's what we got to do on our, on our future show. So if anybody has ideas out there, for future, uh, for bad dates, uh, put them in the comments or, uh, you know, now or, or later, and we'll, uh, maybe we'll use them for the next show. It's just terrible. You can't, when you're a single person, it's the worst because you, you can't meet anybody. Everybody's afraid to even meet you. You, you can talk on, the th talk on the Zoom and everything, but then when you actually meet, it's like suddenly the, the Jewish tradition of having sex between a sh with a sheep between you isn't isn't so bad now, I guess. Anyway, let's bring Kevin on here. My sidekick, Kevin. Kevin, how are you? I'm great, Danny. How are you? You look like you're in a black box theater about to do a one man show. What is, I am. what is that? I, uh, I'm dressed dark. I you, mean, uh, you really are. And, and you still have not got that green screen down, Kevin. What do you mean? It's green. It's, it looks gray now. Let me tell you something. <laughs> what did, did I go? Did, did it go probably, bad? You'd probably have an easier time getting a green screen on that lettuce face mask that we saw earlier. Be flawless. I think, I think it would have worked better. How was your week? My week was great. My week was great. Busy as usual. I got the ghost cup. That's nice. Isn't that cool? That is nice. Hey, I just, because become a, just because your cup dies doesn't mean you can't still use it. No, it's it is. It's refreshment from the other side. <laughs> What were you going to say? You started a new job? I did. Yeah. Tell I me did. about that. Well, uh, it's exciting. And we just started. So. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you don't want to tell me, Kevin. No, it's uh, it's just when you start a new job, you don't know anything yet. So I think I pretty much ran through two thirds of my knowledge there. 
<laughs> That's all your knowledge. That's, That's all. You don't even know what you're doing. You it's just know you sign in, and you, you sign up for paychecks. And you, and you just sit there. You give emergency <laughs> phone numbers. There's a lot of paperwork. You give a lot of permission. Oh, my God. Then, then they break it to you so you don't, you're like, I don't want to do this. There you go. Which is six days into the paperwork, so you stay. <laughs> I've got a... Uh, I've got a new uh, uh, a new cartoon series that I'm going to be uh, that I'm going to be uh, recording. Very nice. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, man. It's called Angelo Rules. That's me right there. That's me. That I'm the bully. I'm like, you can run, but you ah! <laughs> <laughs> now they know they saw the face behind it. You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> Shut up, nerd wood. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> All right. Where can we see that? That I, I have no idea. <laughs> I really have no idea. I'm, we're on the fourth <laughs> season, and I don't know. It was on Netflix. It was on Netflix. I don't know where it is now, but it's all over the world, apparently. It's literally here. the only time in the history of the Danny McDermott show that I've chosen to be helpful, and you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. I should, really should ask them. <laughs> it's a question. People are going to ask. Uh, I mean, they send me episodes, but I, I don't know where they're showing the stuff. Uh, That's you know? great. It's a treasure hunt, people. It, it is. So go ahead and seek it out. But I think a lot – you know what's funny? Even when you search the links, a lot of the links, uh, it's like foreign language and it's not even me. So I, I don't know if you can even find the ones with me on it. It's ridiculous. Oh, are they trying to attract viewers? What's going on here? Maybe they're maybe maybe they're playing it in little villages in Africa. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's like they put a projector up and and play I've it. I've been to stores with one item on the shelf, and if you walk in, they look at you funny. Like, what are you doing here? That's not what this place is about. <laughs> All right, so uh, I want to I want to start this show quickly. Uh, let's I want to I want to we we've been trying to do this segment for a long time now, and um, we, we we wanted to comment on some of the ridiculous videos we have out there. So this is what we're gonna do uh, right now, I believe. Dumb. Yeah, today's dumb shit. <laughs> That's my decision for your information Bitch, I told you that I'm educated Ah, yeah, that's that monster, that's that problem, baby Ah, good This guy is not a thug This guy's like, oh! Ah, oh! Bitch, he just shot the cat! He doesn't know what to eat. He's... Okay. Uh oh, mommy's mad. Mommy kill. Mommy's gonna kill him. That guy was like 14 years old. He he could barely grow a beard. How do he get the gun? And how do he get the notion that he could rap? <laughs> That's the more important part. I think. It is. It, it is. is. I think if he had. Oh no! I think we're lost. Whatever shall we do? This is a show. Oh, look, I'm, I'm concerned that they're lost. She'll know what to do. Well, lucky them. Not to fear, little children. I will help. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Should have used strength. Oh, I see. Strand, I see. The most dependable fishing line <laughs> in the world. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was. Oh, did you see the? Did you see this wand fly up in the air after she hit? I just started to relax for the nervous children. Then, then that happens. <laughs> Dude, I mean, seriously, I think that was real. I think, I, I think Stren just found that video, <laughs> Stren fishing line. That's and that, right. That woman hit. Did you hear that? I don't even think Stren fishing line existed until they knew about the video, and they're like, "We got to do something with this." <laughs> <laughs> they just. But uh. Oh, here's another one. But uh, can I find this in Arlington? Oh, good grief, yes. Oh, boy. Uh, let, let me, let's see how long it is. Let's hold okay. it out. This I'll guy this is uh, probably close to five feet. S standard. Texas Stay rat snakes this are going to be one of the largest snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> what the f***? 
Ya You can tell he he's he was he was mustering all the courage. He was like all morning. He's like, I'm not afraid of snakes. I can do this. I can do this. I can hold the snake. And he holds the snake. And this little tiny lizard jumps on him and he acts like he's electrocuted. <laughs> Second reptile is just too far. Right? And I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact on its dry snow, so your feet don't get wet. She is so bourgeois. What have you seen while you've been out running? It's been a lot of fun. There's a lot of other runners and more skiers than runners, for sure. I think they've got a little bit of the he advantage is, with the yeah. whole stride and glide thing. But it's he too nice so to not whipped. be out here. Yeah. All right. We'll go ahead and keep He's on the run. He's just agreeing with have kept you, but I appreciate you guys talking thanks. with us. Stay warm. All right. Thanks. We've seen a lot of people out These here. These are the snobbiest running, joggers I've sledding, ever watched. Just enjoying it. One thing. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That can happen, unfortunately. Wee! Looks like Chelsea's okay. You okay? Oh. Yes. How's the okay. texture now? <laughs> <laughs> I bet she'd have liked the softer snow. <laughs> I love the way she was like, the texture is so perfect for what we're doing. We're going to be jogging, and it's going to be so perfect. Everybody else is an idiot because they don't know what it's like. It's the perfect texture. <laughs> and you could see the ice patch. You could actually see this strip. It looked like a tire did it. <laughs> that was awesome. That was great. That was She's cute. Oh! oh. Not, not too smart, though. <laughs> wow. How sharp is her ass? Look at that. How sharp is Bet you she's uh, a half an inch shorter now. <laughs> she's got no neck. That's great. That guy doesn't even go to save her. She's dressed the same as her usual walk of shame. It's just in a different location. <laughs> <laughs> that is a real walk of shame. Oh my yes. god! Yes, and they were. What, what were they? What were they thinking? <sighs> I mean, seriously, a cannonball on an iced over lake. I mean, what happens she... if, if you make it through the ice? Then what? Exactly. This, exactly. This... Was it like a suicide thing? <laughs> Did she fail at suicide? <laughs> Is that what's happening? Uh, she failed at something. Maybe, she pretty maybe much everything. multiple things. All right. All right. That, that's good. That's good. I like those videos. We should do more of that, right? I think uh, I think I want to bring our, our, our first guest in, Jason Stewart. Uh and uh, we got to talk about uh, his intro. Jason Stewart is an award-winning actor who's been recently seen on TV's Goliath, as well as Nate Parker's searing film, The Birth of a Nation. He's featured in the upcoming thriller, Immortal. And he's a great guy. I, I love this guy. We've done comedy together many times. Please welcome Jason Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. And take down the banner. There we go. Hello. <laughs> How you doing, uh, buddy? I'm doing good. The Goliath I just did, so it hasn't been on yet. It won't be on until 2021. I actually had a scene with J.K. Simmons, Bruce Dern, and uh, Haley Joe Osment. Everybody had been either nominated for an Oscar or had an Oscar. So, of course, I had to bring up my Best Supporting Actor nomination for the Glitter Award for Coffee Date. And they were all <laughs> mesmerized by that, of course. <laughs> well, they've all been dreaming of getting that award themselves. So. Oh, please. And, you know, and then when I brought up the Best Actor for the Silicon Beach Film Festival, I could go over in the corner and show you the plaque. <laughs> <laughs> the best Actor in a Short Film. You they know? must have been kissing your ass. Oh, my God. They were just upset there was no beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. How you been? Um, I'm locked in my office doing Zooms all day. Are you? And, uh, I'm not wearing pants. I haven't worn pants in months. Great. And, Don't stand uh, up. <laughs> I'm actually not even wearing shorts today. Uh, <laughs> well, as long as you don't get caught masturbating, like what's his name? Yeah, come on. He <laughs> didn't, didn't know he was masturbating. If no, he they did. You know, what's really weird about it is he thought he was off camera, but I'm thinking to myself, what are the other people thinking? Didn't someone hey, say, hey, man, I think you're masturbating on camera. You probably don't want to do that. Everybody was probably just sitting there like. <laughs> or he had a really attractive penis and they all wanted to watch. I don't know. I think he, I think he was jerking off to one of the other people in the room. No, no. He was watching porn and during the business meeting, I guess. 
which I've done quite often. Yeah, I'm but you, watching, yeah, but you can watch porn and watch the person you want to jerk well, off. What I've been doing is I've been watching The Crown because I'm obsessed as I was waiting and watching you at the same time. So I kept going like this and listening to the, to the, all the terrible things, that all the clips of people falling and almost killing themselves. You love people falling, don't you? Dan? <laughs> you think it's funny if someone falls, especially... I was picked on as a kid. Now it's my turn to pick on people. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Pick, pick, pick. <laughs> I you played know. the bully in my new cartoon series. Well, oh, kind of so the biggest the biggest exciting news is I'm going to be performing in a parking lot. <laughs> really? Not once, but twice. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, on the 21st, I'm going to be doing one in San Clarita. And then on the 20. Eighth, I think it is. I'm doing the improv in Irvine, and I'm going to be there with Rob Schneider. I worked with Rob on his show, Real Rob, a couple of years ago. Oh, nice. Were, yeah, so Rob Schneider from, you know, uh, Deuce Bigelow and the 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 Chick Magnet or all the Adam Sandler films or all oh, the yeah. things where he takes off his clothes and sort of tries to get some girl involved in his life. I met and him a few times. I met him a few times. I, I played a gay guy in a sauna in his TV series, so I was topless. Wait, was, you played a gay guy? Yes, it was character acting. <laughs> and I had to get on my knees and practice quite a bit until I got it just right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're hilarious, man. Um, so but it can you imagine I'm going to be in a parking lot? If someone told me a year ago I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy in a parking lot, I went, I don't think so. Yeah, I would have shot myself. <laughs> not going to happen. I'm not doing it. Right. And then before, I'm going to jump at the chance to do it at the senior center parking lot, you know. I, oh, really? That's, oh, my God. That's got to be the worst. Senior senior shows are the worst because they're like. <sighs> no, no. I think, come on. No, it, we're, senior is over 60 now. So there are some people, you know, and, and I have been willing to admit that I'm 50 years old. It's only taken me nine years. Well, I was talking so, about an old folks home, though. That type of senior. Yes, yes. That's really. But this is a senior center. Oh, okay. And other people oh, what, are, we're, just using, we're just using their parking lot in Santa Clarita. And, but wait, uh, what's the difference between a senior center and a and an old folks home? I think a senior center is people go to socialize, and an old folks home is people go to live and, uh, oh. and cut the no, no, and live. <laughs> I <guess. laughs> right, right. You like? I, mean, I have to say something. Uh, how hyperallergenic? Is that a actual uh, sheet that you have in the background? It is. <laughs> it's my green screen. Well, it looks like an old episode of I Love Lucy. I really, it's really, it's, it's sad, right it's sad, and it makes me want to cry. That's all <laughs> I want to say. Okay, that's, that's the, he, looked, that's the, he put, he put his whole, he fixed his hair, he washed his face, he put on a nice jacket, he got a background that makes him look like he's on, you know, ABC Morning News with Jennifer Aniston or something. He's got, a, he's got the headset on, though, he can, he, he doesn't need it, he just wears it, you know, to keep everything in, and <laughs> <laughs> he exactly. He, he tried. Whatever you're doing, it's just it's sad. That's he all gets it sad. all the time. He gets it all the time. This green screen started in 2020. Oh, great! Can you move a little lower so we don't see you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, we only see like your shoulders, dude. You, like you're not even like in the center and like up in the in the screen. <laughs> you're like you're just like you're just like over down here. <laughs> It's like, hi, how are you? Yeah, it's like it's like that guy that was on at Cool Time, you know, with uh, what, what was it? Uh, Wilson, Tim Allen show, Home Improvement. Yeah, 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 Wilson. That's what you should hi, be. Hi, like. hi, how are you? You know, a you whole career, like, right, right, like this. A whole career of only showing his eyes. <laughs> just gonna slowly slide down. <laughs> it's okay. And it's just like me. Soon you will be an actual spot on your carpeting. <laughs> I just hope whoever lived with you doesn't like to vacuum. That's the best case in there. <laughs> okay. So I've okay. got a lot of things happen to me since I, uh, you know. Wait, wait, this... Before we get into that, before we get into that, I want to show you something. Oh, I'm my very, God. You're I'm very show... excited. This is some new technology that's only good for the Danny McDermott show. And, and it's a technology. Who's where Danny it... McDermott? Oh, that'd be, that'd be me. Okay. You remember, yeah, you remember me, the guy who brought you on the you show. You can say okay. my show. We know who you are. <laughs> but it's only available to this show. And uh, it's it's when you put a video in, into this machine, it reads the mind of the animal in the video. Oh, hold on, wait. The crown is back on. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's 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 show them. I want to see animal mind reading technology. <laughs> Oh, I feel 
feel like my chest is being squoze against the ground. What? Does anybody want to trade people? I think all my organs have been squoze up into my neck. I feel like a tube of toothpaste in a vice. Seriously, can I have some ibuprofen? Some kind of anti-inflammatory? Oh my god! Why are you trying to ride on my neck? That's not where you're supposed to ride! Oh, that hurts! My neck! Oh my god! I can't... Uh, he's king of the world! What the hell's happening? Yes, that's it. Hold up my neck, please. Please just hold up my neck. Just all the way. The, the whole 500 miles we're going to just... Just hold me up. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh... Oh, seriously, is this an elephant on my back? Or two elephants? Or what is this? Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, my spleen! Oh! Uncle! <laughs> that, that was past funny. It was, it's animal cruelty. It is. It's horrible. That was really just awful. And who? Do you believe it? I could see the end of the cute guy off to the side. I just so wanted to to do something. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been alone a long time. You know, sex is over. Did you know that sex is over? Do Dad. I know that? Do yeah, I know that. Yeah, it's over. No more sex. My new boyfriend is called Porn Hub. That's his name. <laughs> he's great because you know what's great about him. He's he, he, whenever I turn him on, he's always there. And if he's busy, he sends someone else. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love your I love your surreal world. You're like oh, in yeah. the imagination of Mister Rogers' world. Like it's right here. My the office. This is where the ring lights up here. The other lights here. These are the <laughs> My office magazine covers and posters for my show. You know, I, I, those are now. What are all those? What are all those pictures back there? That's uh, magazine covers for movies I've been in, and more movies here, and plays, and short films, and uh, oh, there's another. There's there's a oh, there's my stand-up special, and on the ceiling. I know. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have a, a um, cathedral ceilings in my in my apartment. Oh, okay, I thought you ran out of room on the wall, so you just started putting them up, putting all the stuff on the ceiling. No, just in the office, just here. And I also have an Academy Award. What? What? What Academy Award? You know that. That's how my career started. Wait a minute. I, I, I'm trying to remember now. I, I thought we, Kevin, where are the notes? I'm Kevin. I was, it's not in the notes there for the press release. I was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for They Shoot Horses, Don't They? In 1969, I played the five-year-old kid who held the gun while she killed herself. And I cry. Are you serious? I'll show wow. you after. Wait, hold on. Don't move. Wait. Kevin, you really screwed the pooch on this one, Kevin. Wait, wait. wait. Here it is. Right here. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Wow. That's impressive. Look that's really very nice. <laughs> best. Oh, it says best mentor. Uh, you believe me for a second, didn't you? You? You, got, you got that on Hollywood Boulevard. No, uh. I didn't. This is actually a real Oscar. And I've done a lot of mentoring to, for kids in my in my and one of the kids that I mentored actually got me this. The way you know it's not real and you didn't win it is there's no inside here. That's yeah. it. This is the exact Oscar that they use. And this okay. kid, Robbie Carlisle, I started uh, mentoring him at the LGBTQ Center. Um, oh God, probably whenever the year the movie Neighbors came out, he was he was in that. He had a very featured, funny part in that. And then I helped him in his acting career and I helped him in his comedy career. And then he moved to Vegas and became a fan fiction writer. Really? And he made more money than both of us. What's his name? Robbie Carlisle. Robbie Carlisle. Okay. All right. Yeah. So he owes you. He, <laughs> he cost him. An Oscar. I know what I'm going to say if I ever win one, which will probably never. I'm just going to say, oh my God, this took so long. Is that, is is that, that, um, if you want to try this, don't. <laughs> right it's so hard oh my god it was funny because the other day uh or one of the other shows uh they were asking what what was it like to, what would you say to people starting out stand-up comedy i i said stop <laughs> well there is no comedy now what do you say I, one kid sent me a thing and he says he uh sent me and i talked to him on the uh on the internets and he said uh he said i want to be a comedy i just love your show what could i do and i said well who do you want to make laugh? He said, everybody. And I said, oh, honey, have you met everybody? Because I have. Yeah. A lot of them you just don't want to you know, make laugh. A lot of them you just want to run the other way. Run. 
You know what's funny? I had I had a picture of me with two Oscars in the studio, and it's not there right now. I was going to show you that, but uh, I my my buddy Terry McInnes uh, is staying at John Lennon's old house, and uh, no. Uh, yeah, and there's it's Hollywood, uh, right? You know why? Because yeah. everybody in Hollywood lives in somebody else's house that's famous. There's no such thing as just living in a regular house. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Linda Evans so here during Dynasty. Oh, yeah. No, this is where John Ritter had his first child. You know, <laughs> this is where he conceived it the couch. This is where Valerie Harper got the phone <laughs> call that she got Rhoda. You know. There it is. There oh, it is. wow. Those are two real Oscars that are at that house. And uh, they're heavy. Did John just leave them there? I mean, I don't understand. No, they weren't his. They were from uh, Lawrence of Arabia for a woman who worked on that. I think. Uh, he just left them at the house one night or? Well, she's gone. She's dead. Oh. So he, so he, stole them. he stole them from her. No, it's not. It's not his house. It's. Uh, uh, he's renting the house. Anthony, Anthony Hickok's house. No, he's a friend of Anthony Hickok. I know that name, Anthony. Yes, yes. he's a director. He directed, uh, really cool dude. He directed all the House of Wax movies back in the- Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I only had the, the only connection I have is I was in the remake of The Pit and the Pendulum, and I played the Vincent Price role, and he was in House of Wax originally. So that's, wow, my, closest, right. that's my closest connection. That's very cool. That's very cool. Well, you're awesome at improv. I think, I th I, I think you've inspired me. I think we should do, do a little segment, you and me. What do you think? Oh, well, if you're going to torture me into doing it, I will. Uh, Let's uh, give it a uh, shot. Let's try it. Danny's Improv Theater. As we join two We're not gentlemen. In yet. <laughs> He's not in costume, and I have to put the Oscar I away. Know. Yeah, I put Kevin on alone, and then. As we join. <laughs> Two mourners at an Irish wake. Take it away. No, no, keep going, Kevin. I'm not ready. <laughs> this is, I have to try this. I should have had Steve do this. They're take, mourning. <laughs> take us out again for a second. <laughs> excuse me, father. Mourning a father, dear loved one. Father, excuse me. Um, yes, was it, <clears throat> yes is, is this the Moisha Greenbob funeral? No, my son, this is an Irish, this is an Irish week, my son. Oh, because I was supposed to, is this, is this Saturday? Well, you know what, it's okay, why don't you come in and drink, because nobody's here, because everybody hated him. Oh, my God, that's so sad. Oh, yeah, he was a dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a little, little dick. <laughs> a little personal. I, uh, well, yeah, you know, he used to beat his mother and, and uh, beat his kids, he even beat his hamster. Real terrible person. Oh, terrible person. Yeah. But you know, you, you got to pray for him. You got to. I got. I have to do something. <laughs> oh well, I was here for the Moisha Greenbaum funeral. I'm a distant cousin, but I thought it should come because my mother told me to. Well, bring the casket in. We'll we'll, we'll do the, we'll do another one. We'll do I, it together. I, I, I was coming to the funeral. I don't have, actually have the actual casket. But I think what, what, is, this is Sunday, isn't it? I think I made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? It's okay because you know what. Uh, I can molest you if you want. Oh well, that's that's yeah. part of my that's part of the that's part of the wake. I, I was definitely by before. a rabbi. Yeah, his his name was Shalom, so which means in English goodbye and hello. So I didn't know what was happening. It was like being at a turnstile at Joan yeah. Collins' house. I don't yeah, know. well, yeah, well, that sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Do they do they allow Irish priests into these uh, these these sexual yeah. escapades? I think we've gone to, we've turned a corner, and I just don't know how we're going to get back. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I think, and scene. And scene. Kevin, end it. <laughs> Join us next time on Danny's Improv Theater. And next time we'll play the video. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dressing through, through the scene. That was my favorite part. Oh, it's, oh it's my God. Be putting on his clothes as he walked into a funeral. It's live, live. No, we, we got to switch me and Kevin back and forth now if we can. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that oh, was you funny. really have it going here. You got really great technical things and everything. Oh, I love the. I, I have amazing producers. <laughs> uh, Susanna is amazing. Thank you, Susanna. Susanna, come on in for a second. Say oh, hi. No, I don't really want to see her. <laughs> okay. No, uh, can we see you. 
Can we actually see her or do we have to look at the picture? No, this is her. She probably looks, she's probably 140. There she is. I have a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> How am I you doing, doing Janet? How am I doing? You were so funny, Jason. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I love it. What's all that stuff in your house? My God. It's my green, it's my studio. My is that green? Green? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, It's my studio and my invisible chair. Oh. Sorry. He just gave you COVID. He just sneezed on you. No, I just I Dang it. <laughs> I'm already on quarantine for two weeks. It doesn't matter. I'm alone if I have it. If I don't have it, I'm not alone. <laughs> I have become that older gay man that lives at the end of the block right next door to his mother. That's who I am. I'm that guy that somebody says to, oh, God, you know him, Jason. He never found anybody. He's alone. <laughs> I'm that guy that they said when a kid's ball comes on my lawn, I scream, you kids, get off the lawn. And then I keep the ball. <laughs> oh, I've never <laughs> That's it. This is how sad my life is. I actually had someone the other day, Suzanne, and this is true. They hit me up on Grinder, which is the gay apps, or is it Scruff, one of the gay dating hookup apps. And I said, look, I'm you know, sex during COVID. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. He says, oh, I don't want to have sex with you. I just want you to stand naked in front of the your window, you know, and <laughs> masturbate. I said, oh, thank God I'm still oh. <laughs> well, You know, Matthew McConaughey got in trouble for that. Oh, did he? Oh, my God. And I said, he, he was I, playing bongos. Oh, really? Well, I'm not going to play bongos. Wait, and he I, was playing bongos and masturbating? Oh, my That's God. Not I, I want to tell you right now, Suzanne, I would pay for that. <laughs> I probably would did. I would actually pay for it. All my, right, mom is, my mom is going crazy, you know. So I would drop her off at uh, what is it, Ross Dress for Less, and she walks in. You know, she's addicted to shopping. My mom is seventy. Uh, well, she's eighty three now, and she still shops at Forever seventy one. And <laughs> she goes in there, you know, her, like her eyes glaze over. It's like heroin's going through the air conditioning because she needs to buy shit. She bought a blouse. I'm not with three arms in it at Ross Dress for. I said, Mom, why would you buy that blouse? It has three arms. She says, I'll make a bow. It's a dollar ninety nine. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop ruining all my, my fun. Do you my go to Ross Dress for? Do you go to Ross? I knew you. I could tell by the look in your eye because you were about to do this. <laughs> Like this, you know, because you wanted to shop. <laughs> That's awesome. I haven't been shopping since before March. Oh. <laughs> Literally. We Kevin, I'm ready to get out of this house. <laughs> Kevin, are you just going to sit there the whole time? Seriously. <laughs> I've lost all control of the show, Danny. I will leave you gentlemen alone. Are there any questions? Thank you, Susanna. Yes, I got some questions for you, buddy. Please. Thank yeah. you, Susanna. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Susanna. Pleasure. You too. Thank you. I hope he's, you, I hope he's paying Poor you. Kevin's just sitting there like, the whole Three time. sleeves. That's a deal. <laughs> so, so listen, uh, talk about Goliath. How, what was it like working with Billy Bob? Uh, I didn't work with him, unfortunately. And since it was COVID and we all had our masks and our shields on and our, and everything. And we, and he, the scene was done. They, they, the way they shot it is they moved everybody a little apart. It was supposed to be, I think in a drawing room and they changed it to this big mansion and uh, one of the characters' houses, and we were all across the room from each other. And Bruce Dan Dern walks in, and his line my, my character's name was Charles, and he says, He says, Charles has did this right because I sort of talk uh, J.K. Simmons into doing something he doesn't really want to do. Oh, I love J.K. Simmons, man. Oh, he was great, he was just great. He's and then phenomenal. And Bruce Dern walks in, you know, coming home, Nebraska, you know, Black Sunday, Jesus Christ. I knew I wanted to be, you know, have his kind of career when I was a kid. And he oh, walked yeah. in next to me and, he, and he, then he hits, goes like this once. And I think, oh my God, I'm acting with Bruce Dern. And, thinking, and then at the end, he says, Charlie, Charles does a really, and by the end he was going, Charlie did a great job. To, Char, I'm Charlie now. And and I look at him and I, and I add a line to go, thank you, sir. And I walk off and they tell me to get out. It was just so great. It really was. It was a wonderful experience. It was weird to get back on the set again. I hadn't done anything since January. I did it in July, uh, August rather, August. So it's okay. my uh, job. You, you've also worked with Judd Apatow. Yes, on a series called Love that was on for three years. Uh, it was I, I played a shrink to um, oh god, uh, I wish I remember the actor for Mad Men. A uh, really, really brilliant character actor, and it was so much fun to do that show because we would do the scene and did it very much like we did it when we were on My Wife and Kids. When we did the scene, we would certainly uh, do the dialogue just as, uh, as it was. And then they would let us improvise around the dialogue and they would do other takes. And it was so much fun. I really almost, 
uh, you know, I, I couldn't believe that I was able to work on this show. And Judd had sent me an email before telling me exactly how to play the part, which was wonderful. So, and I you knew that, that's email. Well, yeah, that's how I, that's how I, yeah, I've known him for a long time. So I, I had sent an email to him and said, Hey, I heard there was a part. My agent told me about a shrink on the show. And he said, uh, he emailed me back and said, Oh yeah, you'd be great. We're going to send you in to audition. And that's what happened. I've met him a few times. He's a really good guy. I don't really know him that well though. I knew him when we first started out. He was a terrible comedian. That's he was, what he said. <laughs> he was just was not good at all. And then he became great after he got famous. And I think what he he did is he just sort of, he, I think he got into who he was and who he was, I, I'm guessing, you know, is this successful guy. And it sort of really, uh, really well, did him well in terms of comedy. He, he did, he's done some, just some great, great uh, stand up about his kids and about what's it like to be famous and all the kind of stuff. And Paul Rust, was a star. And I asked him on the set, I said, what made you pick me? He said, you were the funniest. I said, well, thank you, gosh. And Jillian Jacobs, I didn't get to meet her. She was the lead. And well, it, was, you know, it was lovely. You said you said he got good after he got famous. That's 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 the thing. You see, what happens- It does not happen though like that because- no, Well, what, what, what happens is someone gets famous and then they get booked wherever they want, even though they're not funny at all. And it takes time, but they, you know, like yeah, I'm not but you know what I, happens if you're not funny and you get you get the job, you, everybody finds out nobody wants to hire you. Right, right. So, but he, he just kept getting better and better and better. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm, I wasn't saying for him in particular, but um, a lot of the time. And we, oh, wait a second, Rich Summers. I played his shrink, Rich Summers. Okay. Could you tell I was looking it up the whole time we were talking? <laughs> no, I couldn't. I'm really, I'm really how well I am as an actor. I feel bad when I don't mention people's names. I just I keep know. staring at Kevin because he's just sitting there. <laughs> I think that whatever I'm sinking, doing, it's slowly. Just, it's just <laughs> like my career. Kevin, why is you hypoallergenic? Why do you say that is your name? I just change it every week. It never oh, makes sense. Oh, that's comedy. Okay. You like my ghost cup? Oh, yeah, I do. Wait, there you go. Is it? Yeah. Oh God, you in trouble, <laughs> girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Tangerine. What about it? Tell me about it. Um, you know, I, 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 I uh, it's a film uh, done by Sean Baker, who had done uh, some wonderful independent films. I was working on, um, oh God, what was I working on? Something. And, I, and someone said, hey, watch this movie, The Prince of Broadway. And I thought it was so good. And then I went into, you know, this I did this, this show, uh, War in the Eight. It was a show on Comedy Central or MTV. I can't remember because one season was on one, one was another. And I was only on one episode. I played a Bernie Madoff character. I talk like this. And I shared a cell with a puppet. Harvey and, Firestein. Yeah. No, more Bernie Madoff. <laughs> you know, Harvey <laughs> Firestein would be like that. Oh my God! This is more. This is more uh, Ber uh, Bernie Madoff, and I and I did this improv for the casting directors, and I got the part. And then I looked him up, and I said, "Oh my God, this is the same guy who did Prince of Broadway, one of my favorite films." And then we hit it off really well on the set, and it was my first acting with a puppet, puppet human acting. And then I tried, and I kept in touch with Sean, and he never wanted to let me have lunch, never wanted to, you know. Um, go for a coffee. But one day his producer, Darren Dean called me and said, Hey, we're doing this film called Tangerine. Um, there's the part of Joey, the doorman, who's the manager of the place where one of the stars do her song. It's a couple of scenes. Would you like to, I said, yes. He said, you don't want to, want to see the script. I said, no, I'm, I, this guy's brilliant. I want to be in this movie. And I had been going. And at the time I remember they kept changing the date of it because they couldn't find a bar. They wanted to use Hamburger Mary's, but for some reason there was a problem. They finally got it. And um, I remember um, I was at Sundance that weekend that they were gonna maybe shoot for another film I did called Love is Strange with uh, Fred Molina and uh, John Lithgow and Marissa Tomei. And I, and I, I'd never- Oh, Marissa Tomei. Oh yeah, I'd never been to a Sundance with, so a, film, with a film before, never. <laughs> So I didn't want to miss that. I wanted, and it worked out that I could do both. So that was really great. And uh, it was my second Sundance film in a row. Awesome. I, I had three in a row. Very wow. nice. I was the- um, uh, You're a madman. You really are. 16. Pardon? You're a, I said, you're a madman. 
I remember when I met you for the first time. I think when I met you, I was with uh, Scott Krinsky. Scott Krinsky, who's also in Tangerine, who I'd met years and years ago. When I met him, I thought, God, this guy's crazy. But he turned out to be a good friend. <laughs> Scott was in the reading for my movie. Yes, and, I remember. And I came to watch it. And we became friends. From Scott. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, so good. So what do you, what do you, uh, how can people find you? You go to jasonstewart.com, S-T-U-A-R-T, and all my, all of my social media is there. And the thing that I'm really mo most excited about these days is my new series called Smothered. And I produced, co-produced, co-wrote, co-star with Mitch Hera, a series called Smothered. It's about these two guys who have been in a relationship for 30 years who hate each other but can't afford to get divorced. <laughs> And it's and really it, funny. Scott's in that. I've, I saw it. He plays a shrink. He plays, he a, shrink. He plays a moderate um, a mediator, a mediator mm -hmm. in our divorce. And it, the sh we've gotten over 50,000 views. Wow. We, we've gotten uh, on the best series, you know, short form series to watch on several lists. And we even got some award in Europe like, for best comedy short for the first episode. Wow. And, and I'm really, really proud of it. It's very funny. If you like David O. Russell films, you'll like this. It's in the same style of Flirting with Disaster or Silver Lining Playbook. And uh, they can watch it by going to smothertv.com. It's on a Amazon now. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's hard to find things on Amazon because uh, you'll see something called smothered eggs or, you know, smothered onions or smothered people getting smothered or movie about, or, you know, you, you know, so you got to go. Are you sure that's not the porn channel you were talking about? Uh, yes, I'm 100% sure. <laughs> Five stars. I've seen but everything. Excellent work. Everything Excellent work. work. You can go to jasonstewart.com and as it is, S-T-U-R-T. And if you really like me and want to know more about me, you can read my book. Hey. Ah. It's called Shut Up, I'm Talking. <laughs> and ask me how I how I uh, got the name for the book. How'd you get the name for the book? Okay, I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> so it was going to be called "I'm Not Barbara Streisand," and because when I was a kid, I went to see Funny Girl, and I fell in love with Omar Sharif. So I thought to myself, "Who am I left to be but Mar Barbara Streisand?" And that was like ten years of therapy, you know, because she was a woman, but she was funny okay. with me on the outside, sad on the inside, and she looked like someone in my neighborhood. So the publisher, CCB Publishing, called me and said, we can't use that title. Streisand's going to be doing her own book, and she'll sue, sue us. This is great. What great publicity. No, right. you don't want that publicity, and we won't do it. So I had to change the name. I called my mother on the phone. I said, Ma, they won't let me use my title. What am I going to do? She said, let me think. I said, come on, Mom. Think of a funny title. You go. She says, I, I don't know. Let me do, Give me a second. Mom, shut up. I'm talking. <laughs> Mothers are such a source of inspiration. Oh, my mom is <laughs> and comedy. Crazy as a loon. You don't know what it's like to go with her to, with a shield and a, a thing and going into the supermarket with her touching all the peaches. I said, we're in a pandemic. You can't touch all the peaches. Pick one. You're not buying a car. You're buying a peach, for God's sake. That's a good point. I never thought about that because you, you want to see if there's they're, they're soft enough. It doesn't matter with her. She, the only, she leaves the house once every two weeks to go to the market, and that's about it. You know, she's been home making me, if you go to my Facebook page, you can see the tuna casserole she made me tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, uh, I want you to hang out here. I'm going to bring on uh, another guest. Oh. Um, yes. And I, but, but you've been so great. I'd, I'd love it if you hung out. Would you mind? Sure. How long is this show? <laughs> like five hours. No. <laughs> Minimum. No. Yeah, exactly. No, it's it's a. I don't know. We gotta get another twenty minutes, maybe. Okay, um, I can do that. I'm missing the the crown, you know. <laughs> you know, once you, you're home, you're binging. You know, it's like hey, get me that more. I want it. What happens? Oh my god, the crown. I just got the episode where all the, all the all the cousins that had sex are in the mental institution. Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> and my, <laughs> one episode, and Margaret found out. You know, in the episode before, you know, with, with Princess Diana, you know, all that. <laughs> all right, cool. So, so hang out here. We're going to bring on our next guest. God, I um, hope I knew. Who is it? Oscar winner? Emmy well, winner? I'm about to say it, Jason. I'll think ahead. I'm, I'm so <laughs> uh, this guy, uh, uh, wait, where, why is he can still stay in the room if you want, but well, they, anyway. They took me out of the room. <laughs> I, I, <know. laughs> I just went in the rating room. And I, hold on. It happens to me once a week. Hold on. Let's, let's bring up the banner to, that explains who this gentleman is, <laughs> if we a, have it. He's got a fancy haircut. 
All right, so this guy uh, edited for Big Brother. He edited for The Apprentice. He's got, uh, he holds the Guinness World Record for the highest body count in the slasher film uh, for Summer of Massacre. Uh, he works as an editor of various reality shows, range from Foxes, Trading Spouses, Nanny 911. I love that show when I, when I was, my son was young, by the way. Trading uh, Spouses? I love Trading Spouses. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's bring him on. Hey. Steven Escobar. Hey, Stephen. Hey, How you doing, buddy? Welcome aboard. I'm doing good. Good. Right, the haircut is, 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 the, is the, the haircut's not as fancy as the one in the picture, so we know you've been good and <laughs> yeah. staying home during COVID. <laughs> I have to learn to vacuum all by myself. It's so emotionally debilitating. Yeah, so you're a reader. Yeah. I see you got books behind you there. Are those actually? actually, are those no, well, actually there's oh, there's some awards in the back, so. <laughs> Oh, oh that's my, the right. Emmy is back there. Oh, oh, that's, right. that's right. You got an Emmy. That's all right. What was that for? Yeah. Like, um, I was an editor on the uh, on the Amazing Race for CBS. You know, I was yeah. almost and, uh, on that. This is this is like 2007. Yeah, I oh, was yeah? almost. Yeah, I was. They called. They were prepping us to go on. It was me and uh, uh, David Russo. Dave Russo. He was a. He was like. A short guy. He looks like Andy Cap from the comics. He, he's a Boston uh, comic, and uh, right, they said, right, "Oh, right. two comics, two comics on the Amazing Race. We got to do it." And then uh, David backed out. But, Why, oh, man? I don't know. I don't know. God, I would have done it in a minute. Well, maybe we can still do it, <laughs> Stephen. <Yeah. They're> so, <laughs> so, um. I got, I got a couple questions. We're just, we don't have a lot of time on the show, but I do want to talk about um, uh, Terror Tunes 4. Yeah. Well, uh, Terror Tunes 4 is a, it's basically wait, wait, 20 wait, years wait, ago. We, we Will we understand it if we haven't seen 1, 2, and 3? Well, let's, let's show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, basically okay. Terror, Tunes, uh, Terror Tunes started in 2001, and my partner Joe Castro and I, put together oh this uh, film. And uh, basically it's about killer cartoons who kill people in cartoon ways. That is awesome. I love so it. Live yeah. action of an actual cartoon, the it's, live action of a cartoon idea. It's like Roger Rabbit meets Friday the 13th. I hope there's an anvil involved. Pretty much. Like, <laughs> uh, there, was a, there was an ax in the first one, so. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, now he, he's oh, no. weird. Maybe, Maybe one of those cartoons got him. That, well, oh, oh. The head when they did the thing and they chopped him off. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was. was uh, the, the Amazing Race, that's a hard show. Oh, you're back. We, we, we were doing <laughs> There you go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. It's just, I have a connection problem. Are you, Can I are you, are you near your Wi-Fi? Are you near your Wi-Fi? Um, <laughs> can you hear me? All can right. you hear me now? <laughs> That's it's legitimately a, a connection problem. The the other day. Gentlemen, <laughs> he's on a Mac. Uh, I, I can't help him. I can't help him. <laughs> Look, it happened on the view the other day. They couldn't find, you know, all right. Joy I think I'm back. On. Okay, you're back. There you go. Um, so you worked on uh, the Martha Stewart show. Was yeah, that the one? That's correct. Yeah. With Snoop Dogg or without her? Yeah, I worked when I worked on The Apprentice. It was a the original Apprentice before they did the celebrity. So uh, I worked on one season of the regular Apprentice, and then I worked on the only season of the um, the Stewart Apprentice. Oh, Martha Stewart Apprentice. Oh, I thought you worked on the Martha Stewart show. So she did the Apprentice. Okay, gotcha. Are you, when, you, whenever are you, she's on, it's the Martha Stewart show. I think he's frozen again. <laughs> and if she comes on this, it's the Martha yeah, yeah. Stewart show. I think, I think what's happening is Martha is actually irritated that we're talking about her, so she's freezed him out. I think, I think Trump is upset that he's talking oh, about The Apprentice. I, I wish he was just <laughs> upset about this and nothing else. Can, can you tell me, was that is that orange spray on, or does he eat a lot of cheese Cheetos? Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't on the set because I'm an editor, so... Everything was shot in New York, and they brought oh. everything. 
Oh, so you heard things they said but, that you had to edit out, right? But I, I did get to listen to a lot of things off camera. And I remember oh. in 2016, <laughs> I was getting uh, some, well, I was getting a lot of calls from uh, the New York Times and the Washington Post about uh, any anything that they might I might have heard backstage, but uh, for some reason they would just cut off his mic and I couldn't I couldn't hear anything. But uh, there were times when you know he got pretty aggressive, and that's then that's all I'll say. <laughs> well, if you learn to to lip read, you you could make quite a bit of money. I'm assuming. <laughs> Oh, he, he, I think he knows he just can't say everything that, that was said. Oh, come on, Daniel. Right. Be honest. He said so many things that didn't matter. Well, let, let's not put him on the spot. We're not talking. This isn't a political show. I, this is an escape from politics. That's what this show is. So, uh, what about Martha's? Oh, we lost him again. In my case, it's also an escape from custody. <laughs> I think, I think we're, we're not going to be able to do the bit with him because of the, the, uh, that's a shame. The I was connection. excited. And I, I know. was excited to hear a little more about uh, Tiny Toons 4. Well, you know what, guys? We are going to, just so you know, we are going to play the Tiny the uh, Terror Toons 4 trailer after the credits of the show. So if anybody wants to see that trailer, it is going to be played at the end of the show. Excellent. Uh, now, if if you if you want, uh, maybe Jason and I could do the do the uh Sure. I thought that sounded great, but Steven's back. Maybe I'll throw it back. I, I, the thing is, with the connection, I don't think he's going to be able to do that that bit. But we can we we can still talk for a couple couple more minutes with you. Um, so what what tell us about your your fund fundraising? Well, basically, we're doing an Indigo campaign for Terratunes Four. It's our twentieth anniversary since the first release, and we're basically going to finish the entire series. We have, uh, this is part four. And so okay. we're running the Indigo campaign. We're trying to raise 12,000 more dollars. So if you go to Indigo and look up Terratunes 4, you, there's a lot of perks there. Uh, we have uh, Felissa Rose that's in it, uh, Brink Stevens. We have uh, uh, Debbie Rashawn um, and uh, a couple of other ac actors and actresses that are gonna be in the film. That's awesome. Well, you don't have Jason Stewart. Yeah. And and you're going to have my head cut off. I don't know why nobody wants to cut off my head. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Perfect timing, Susanna. You're awesome. We got to have we got to have general We got to have general videos where she could just at the right time put them on when someone says something. Steven's well, frozen again. She's already done that. You don't have to. You don't, She knows how to do it. She knows what's going on. She okay. has, she's great. She is awesome. Um, she's the best. She um, really is. So what we're going to do now is uh, I think, I think uh, Steven, Steven, I can't even talk to him. <laughs> He's threatening to, there he is. He'll come. I'm going to, Let's 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 just uh, Stephen will be around after the show in the chat room if anybody wants to talk with him. Uh, he's probably in the chat room right now if anybody wants to ask him questions or anything that, like that. We are at the end of the show. We're gonna after the credits. We're gonna play the Terror Tunes trailer. So if anybody wants to see it, we can do it. Now we're gonna do a segment with me and Jason, which we were gonna do with him. But we're going to do it because we we got it ready and we want to do it. Are you ready for this, Jason? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, but I'm willing to play along. Okay, yeah, it's, do it's called six, 30 and 60. No, yeah, 30 questions in 60 seconds. Will I get a residual for this? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm in. All right. Cool. All right. What superpower would you want most? Sex in the morning or at night? How many chickens does it take to kill an elephant? Who's more problematic? Mel Gibson or Kanye West? Hold on. Who's sexier? Wait, wait, Sam Kinison or Sam Donald? Hold on. Am I supposed to answer? Yeah, yeah, but we gotta have him on there to answer. See, we didn't see this is this is technical stuff we didn't think about. <laughs> well, don't tell everybody that we made a sit mistake. They don't know. It's gotta be a share it's screen. My fault because I didn't know. Pretend you no, didn't. It's not, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's my fault. It's no, all it's of our my fault because I didn't know. Dan, you, you know, 
you're you're we, you're cool. He's great. I'm the one that doesn't know. No, it's my fault. Okay, yeah, it is. It's always we, Kevin's fault. We can all agree on that. It's always you, Kevin. Kevin, you're right. fired. Suzanne, I'm ready when you are. We're going to do it right now. Well, no, I don't think we can because the problem is, um, it's it's got to be a share screen, not in the studio, because so that you can your face can still be there on the side. And you and I are supposed to answer. Both of us are supposed to answer all the questions. Susanna, oh, what do you say? Lean, he can lean to the side. Oh. All right. No, I made it full screen. Hold on. Let me oh, see. Oh yeah, you made it full screen. Let me see what I could do. Hold on. What superpower would you want most? Sex in the morning or at night? Why? How many chickens does it take morning. to kill an elephant? Both. Who's more problematic, Mel Gibson or Kanye West? Who's sexier, Kanye West. Sam Kinison or Sam Donaldson? Which Donaldson? Kinison. <laughs> you were muted. See, we got it. This is a. <laughs> you did this so you could win. That's why you did this. You wanted to win. See, Susanna, he's very <laughs> unkind to the guest. <laughs> He All right, disappear, and now he won't let me talk. <laughs> That's what it's about. He hates the Jews. I know it. <laughs> you oh you gotta unmute yourself. I can't unmute you. Susan, yeah, yeah, I can't unmute you. You have to do it yourself. I didn't even know. Am I muted now? I no, but as soon as I play the video, you will need to unmute yourself. Oh God. And <laughs> Steven, Steven's back on. He's on his phone. Um, oh my God, Steven, do you want to play? Sorry, right. sure. Like I just play play? Play. It would be cool if we could do it as a share screen. Then you could still see our faces, and we all answer at once. Steven's frozen again. He's there frozen is. again. Everybody can answer no. at once. We all know your voice. He's okay. in it. You're very handsome voices. All right, let's do it. All right, here we all go. Right, Mark, right. unmute set. yourself, Steven. Two, three. Are you ready? Unmute. Where? I'm unmuted. I'm unmuted. What superpower what superpower would you want most? Why? Being able to get a movie and get rid of Donald Trump. Take to kill an elephant. Who's more problematic? Um, I have no, no idea. I hate Who's sexier? Sam Kinison or Sam Donaldson? Donaldson? Which is worse? Death by electrocution or drowning? Is it better to be in front or in the back of a horse costume? Who's hotter? Barry Bonds or Barry Gibbs? Toilet paper. Barry Gibbs. Over or under? Chunky or creamy? Over. Under. Moses Creek or Peanut butter. Dave Grohl and Nirvana or Dave Grohl and Kate Fowler? Cutest people member. Worst male fashion. Nirvana. Crocs or acid washed jacket? Marshmallows. Acid wash jeans. Yes no. Pineapple on a pizza. Pineapple. Did you ever make your action make figures make each, each other? Pie no, or cake? No, pineapple. Cake. Always cake. 20% for bad service? For bad service. Or tipping 10 Yeah, no, I never made my action figures. Do geishas look like Air drums or air guitar? Tipping. I don't even know what that is. Percent. Roaches. Geishas look like a shark. Ever broken a bone? Is avocado Air guitar sucks. How do you like your egg? Did you ever use a fake ID to get pornography? Did OJ kill his wife? What is the name of the English foot? Minnie stuck my foot. I love it. Yes, my foot. Uh, I, 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 I never even had it. Yes. Uh, over easy. Uh, I sex, know. Sex with my, my, in my I, doctor's I never office. Oh, so she did my my office. I couldn't help it. Uh, what's invisible? Uh, my, my, I don't know. What's invisible that you want to see? You didn't even hear it, Stephen. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> that worked exactly how we planned it. I don't think that bit works at all. So I, <laughs> I think it's terrible. Uh, hey, we got to try, man. We're, we got to try new stuff. Well, I'm impressed on the whole setup. I just, I, I really am. I want to know where my check comes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Jason, I'm definitely going to have you on more for sure, man. You're great, man. You're improvisational. It's great. I love it. I love it. Steven, eh. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you have to actually be able to be heard and have a screen on. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Apparently, Susanna hates people that are on Mac, so. <laughs> Guys, I want to thank you to work at HP. I'm an HP girl. Well, oh. you have to get over it and move on. My uh, sidekick, well. Where's my sidekick? Where's my sidekick? Kevin's. <laughs> yes, he killed his wife. And if you give him a chance, he'll do it again. Kevin's just sitting there like this. <laughs> That's a high number sign, I think. I don't know. X ray vision, no pineapple on pizza, <laughs> creamy peanut butter, and yes, he killed his wife. <laughs> The last time I had sex with it was in, in March. Did okay, it involve February. creamy peanut butter? It was a guy named Raul. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had a fun time on this show. I really did. Jason, you're amazing. I had a blast with you. Thank you. Well, I do my best. Steven, thank you for coming on. I know you're you're for busy, out. and I know it probably as an editor, you're probably like, uh, but, but you know, thank you for coming on. No well, way. I like this show called Ring of Terror. 
<laughs> Ring of Terror? Terror, Terror Tunes Terror 4. Tune. That's what I said. And Kevin, thank you, buddy. You're fired. <laughs> guys, Again? Thank you, guys. Stay. Yes, every show. Danny, you don't have to fire him. He's just going lower and lower. He's going to take him on the day you can't see him. He'll well, eventually do something heavy. The show. <laughs> okay, guys. Stay tuned uh, after the credits for the uh, trailer for the uh, Terror Tunes. And, guys, Jason, thank you. Steven, thank you. Kevin, oh, thank fired. You. let's do this. Thank you. You can't fire me. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Uh, credits roll. Roll. Okay. Okay. Roll. Nope. Uh. <laughs>